In this video, I'm gonna show you how I created my pineapple octopus design. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts, the channel all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you like to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. So in this video, I wanted to share with you something I made recently. You might have seen this video that I did earlier in the week. It talks about Redbubble trends of the week. And one of the trends in there is a pineapple octopus. So I thought it was really fun when I saw this trend to mash up a pineapple and an octopus. I thought that was really creative. So I wanted to do it. And I thought I would show you how I did it in Affinity Designer, maybe teach you some tips and tricks how I design stuff so you can learn as well by watching what I do and maybe use that in your design techniques, some of the techniques that I'm gonna show you that I'm using in mind. So hopefully this video is really helpful as well as seeing what I came up with. So you're gonna to wanna to stay till the end so you can see the final product as well as another edition of Trend Credits. So let's get into Affinity Designer and let me show you my process from creating this pineapple octopus from scratch. All right, so here we are in Affinity Designer. You can see I drew this shape first. It's kind of starting off to look like a pineapple. So I thought a pineapple shape is shorter at the top, wider at the bottom, at least the ones that I'm gonna draw. Kind of makes it cuter anyway. So this is just a path. Like you can just draw it with the pen tool, right? Draw it like that. So that's all I did is I, I drew it with the pen tool, kind of connected it together. You can see it's just a path. I can adjust things with the tool, right, to make it look right. So the next thing I do is I add some lines. These lines are a little thinner. So you can see this line here, the stroke is, what, four points. I think I did this one at two, so half the size. And I kind of just did a crisscross version on it. Kind of give that pineapple look, you know, just simple pineapple uh, cartoon kind of look here. So. Again, these are just paths with the pen tool. Very easy to do. You can do this too. Uh, the next thing is to add some leaves. So I'm not doing the pineapple octopus right away. I'm gonna do the pineapple first and then add the octopus legs later. So first I just wanted to make sure that I get a pineapple and you may wanna do this anyway so that you have a pineapple to use for something else. And then you can have a you know pineapple octopus later too. So. Here's the pineapple. These are just leaves. Again, you can just draw it with the pen tool. Super simple. I'm not doing anything hard, right? And just there, curve it down like that. And you can see I made different leaves front and back. So still pretty simple right here. And this I made the same thickness as the outside. So this is another four points and these are two. So really simple right now the next thing is coloring it so not only did i color it but i put a little face in here because i love doing this kawaii kind of stuff with the faces in it so you'll notice i kind of made the lighter green in the front and darker green in the back when i colored the leaves and that's just to give it some variety and of course the pineapple is orange and i made this lines just a darker orange there and then the face that color so you can color it whatever you want but I thought the orange and the green is a nice color combination. So there you go, simple pineapple, right? So next thing I'm gonna do is convert this pineapple to a pineapple octopus. So I was trying to think like the head of an octopus when I look around to look at how other people draw it, it's actually opposite. So the, the head is like taller on top than on bottom like that. So. I started to make my octopus head just a little smaller. So you can see this pineapple here. It's wider at the top instead of the bottom. So I just kind of moved things around. Uh, again, it's still a path, right? It's still a stroke. So I can move things around real easily. And you can see that's where I got to there. The next thing I did was started to add legs. So these are just bit really thick paths just to kind of give me the right size. So I drew the the legs like this, let me show you, you know, like that and like that, that kind of thing, or just straight down. You can see all of these are actually really just paths, right? And all I did was make it thicker. So this one, instead of four point, I did 12 point because I wanted it, the legs to be a little thicker. So there's that. And after I did that, 
I outlined the front legs. So you can see here, these are the paths, and then I outlined it right here. So you can just do that by, uh, let me show you how I did it. You get the leg here. I'm just gonna copy this so you can see. I'm gonna expand the stroke right here like that. And maybe get rid of this one. Sometimes it does that. So then I'm gonna copy this and put it in the back. You can see here there's two of them. And this back one, I'm just gonna do a stroke on it like that and then make sure that it's thick enough to see, and there you go. So that's what I used to make these, right? So the other three I left in the back, you can see they're still paths, and I did the same thing here, and I kinda colored those differently, just so that you can see it's in the back, so I made the color a little darker, and I kinda thinned out the bottom part just so you could see it a little bit. So there we go. Uh, my pineapple octopus and then I decided to color it and I think you'll like this technique that I did So I colored it using the gradient tool remember that if you've seen one of my videos You know this uh, right here the fill tool. So let me click on it. Whoops. Let me click on the fill tool And you can see here. I did this like totally magenta. Let's go to color so you can see full magenta at the bottom, kind of that pink. And then at the top, I did almost a yellow, just a light orange. And then in the middle here, more of that darker orange here. So you can see it goes from kind of almost yellow, orangey to orange to pink here, or magenta right there. So, And I did the same thing for the back one. You can see uh, this one's going from a darker orange, but down to a darker magenta with that black here. So that's what I did there. I kind of like how that turned out, just so you can see that that gradient. That gradient looks really cool, right? Uh, and then the last thing I did was add a shadow. And I think if you add different colors, highlights, and shadows, uh, that makes your design pop a little bit better. So you can see here, this leg is in front, which causes this shadow right here. And these legs are in front, which cause this shadow in the back and that shadow right there. And you can add highlights too, I didn't, but you probably would add highlights at the top here and the top here, you know, if the light's coming from the top, shining. So uh, that is it. Real simple, right? Just an outline of a squid, you can see, uh, with the pineapple that I started before. So let's look at kind of the progression. I started with a shape, made my pineapple, turned my pineapple kind of a different shape and added the legs. You can see real easy with the paths here. You can do that too. Make the paths whatever you like. I could have made the, I could have made this go up, right? And you know, what if I wanted to do the legs up like that? I could do that and just make it different, right? So do your legs however you want and then outline them like this. Make sure the ones in the back, I know this is only seven legs, not eight, and octopus has eight legs, but maybe there's one that's hiding in the back that you can't see, right? So um, it's fine. It doesn't have to have all eight. And play with color. Color really helps, especially when you're doing dark and light colors. That kind of makes it pop a little bit, adds a little bit more interest. This gradient kind of adds some interest too. So still keeping that kawaii design. Uh, hope you like it and when you're done I like to just do it whatever size and then when I'm done I make it bigger right so the nice thing about vectors is that I can just take that and make it bigger and make sure that it fits on all the sizes of the stickers and stuff that are on Redbubble so now I'm going to take this put it in Redbubble use those tags that I showed you in that video earlier um, for pineapple octopus and hopefully make some sales. It's not a guarantee that trends are going to make sales, but I want to give it my best shot. And I, I, I think this is, has a really good shot of selling, especially for people that uh, love cute kawaii designs, cartoon designs. That's what I'm hitting for. And I'm only going to show it on stickers. I'm going to put it on everything, but I'm going to optimize it for stickers because I think this will make a really good sticker. So that's what I'm going to do. Crossing my fingers, hoping that this will sell. But if not, uh, I gave it my best shot and I can put it on all the different products and stuff. So that is it for my tutorial on how to make a pineapple octopus or at least how I made my pineapple octopus. 
for this trend. Let me know in the comments if you like these kinds of tutorials or these kinds of designs, if you want me to show more of my designs uh, during the week and designing for trends. And let me know if you did your version of a pineapple octopus. I know I, I've seen a lot of them on my Facebook group and on Twitter. Uh, people have been tagging me. Um, this is great. This is great. I think this is a um, good one for people to do because it's it's a good design challenge to kind of mash up two different things that don't normally go together. So uh, hope you have fun with this. Hope you um, get a lot of sales on your pineapple octopus. And thanks so much for watching this video. And your reward is another edition of Trend Credits. Thanks for staying till the end for this Trend Credits. Here is your trend. Everyone is entitled to my opinion. So you can see here, just a funny phrase here. Uh, it's kind of one of these older ones, but it comes back every once in a while. You can see some low BSRs right now, some lower BSRs right now. Let's check uh, Merch Informer. It is getting an A. I had to use a different way to find this. Uh, the competition checker in Merch Informer, I think has changed at least. It didn't work the way that it used to, but you can still check competition and other things. This is with the keyword finder. And I typed in, you can see back here, everyone is entitled to my opinion. And it does the trademark check, which is saved, the competition score, which is great. And estimated monthly sales if you uh, do this, which great, 28 monthly sales, I'll take it. So uh, if you don't have Merch Informer, I have a link in the description to Merch Informer. It's a great tool to check your competition as well as some other things here. So uh, good one to find niches as well. So. Here it is, your trend for this video. Everyone is entitled to my opinion. Again, just very funny. Funny t-shirts sell a lot on Amazon. So think of different funny phrases if you don't wanna use this one. If you can put a graphic in there, I think it will stand out even better. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If this video gave you some value, if you like these kind of design videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I have one right down here in the bottom right corner. So again, thanks so much for watching. And as always, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.